And now on entertainment news, the highly anticipated seventh edition of the GT Co Food and Drink Festival has begun in Lagos. This three-day event at the GT Center is Africa's largest culinary celebration, attracting millions of food lovers and entrepreneurs from across the continent. With a theme, a celebration of authentic flavors, this year's festival offers a wide variety of cuisines, from traditional Nigerian dishes to innovative fusion creations. And it's not just about delicious food, the festival also provides a platform for food education and inspiration, allowing aspiring and established food businesses to connect with customers and showcase their products. The festival is family friendly with a special children's play area and a new baking class for kids. Plus TV Africa interviewed some of the participants and vendors at the event. I think businesses in Nigeria is growing, we are maturing. Um, Ten years ago, I think a lot of us were focusing on, co on consumption, but now we have a lot of Nigerians who are inspired, and there are a lot of innovative companies that are coming up and you know, creating produce that people can be able to consume locally, and making them in such a way and style that they look very international. Businesses in Nigeria are going through a lot of struggle because of um, the economy situation, the foreign exchange challenges and all of that, you're having challenges buying material to produce because you can't even push the costs onto the consumer. So you find yourself struggling to even meet up your costs, recover your costs, not to talk of being profitable, you know? And then apart from um, the foreign exchange thing, the power, Light is a challenge. Foreign exchange is a challenge, you know. And then um, you see a situation, you also have challenges with employment. You don't have a lot of um, staff. You have challenge getting staff to meet your production and all of that. Um, the food business in Nigeria is actually a very good um, business. But with the inflation and the economic crisis, it's been a little bit of a Debbie Downer for a lot of business, food business owners. But I think that um, we're all doing our best. We're trying to keep afloat, basically. We make and sell local snacks, local Nigerian snacks. Like those snacks that we had growing up, if you are a 80s or early 70s, snacks like Babadudu, Sisi Pelebe, Quili Quili, Kokoro, and all those kind of local Nigerian snacks. So we source our materials from Nigeria here. I think the food business is the best business in Nigeria because whatever is happening in the world, you must eat. You're poor, you eat. You're broke, you eat. You're sick, you eat. You always have to eat because you have to survive on food and drinks. So it's really the best industry ever. When you have a good product, you have to stand on it. People were trying our bread and they were in love with it. And when you have good review, when you get good reviews from people, it inspires you to do more. It inspires you to keep going. And our product is amazing and so it just helps us. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.